everyone, Rachel here. Welcome to our garden. Today we're going to be putting together a cottage garden for our entryway here. I'm really excited. We've got a lot of color going on and we've got different plans for the pot sitting here around me. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. Our plan for this day was for Matt to work in the bed and I would plant the pots going down that row. He begins by loosening the soil and repositioning one of our soaker hoses we've got under there. And I start on the pot, that big top pot. Our goal for this was just to create a very full, colorful, somewhat vintage looking cottage garden with old-fashioned flowers and this year to do that we also chose to use a lot more perennials so we have some new faces that we've never tried before behind Matt you see there some beautiful columbines those were grown in probably your grandmother's garden they're a lovely purple color and I'm really hoping they naturalize and come back this next year then right there by his knees you see those red little red balls they actually are daisies called an english daisy those are perennials as well and we're hoping that those do very well that they like it here and they come back next year i'm on my second pot there and usually when i do a pot i have a, a statement flower that i call the thriller that goes in the center then i'll fill around on the edges with fillers and then i love having the fluid cascade feeling of plants that will come trickling over the side. So those I call the spillers. And uh, I'm working on my third pot there. Toward the opening of the courtyard, we like to have a pot flanking either side to make kind of an entrance. And on that big pot there to the left, we're trying another new plant to us. It's a jasmine and it will grow up that wrought iron trellis. And I just love it. It smells amazing every time you walk by, just welcoming you in. So here I'm on my last pot in that row. We always put coral geraniums and those sweet little yellow flowers in that pot every year. Those yellow flowers are one of Matt's favorites. You can see as he's placing his plants in the bed, that he put these large stones in the front. We love working with those smooth landscape stones. We got them from a nursery nearby. We actually call them dinosaur eggs. They're rounded and speckled, and they're just great for adding that English cottage garden feel. But also, if you have a plant that doesn't work out, that way you can use them to uh, fill any holes. I'm on the big pot here. Filling it in, I'm going to put a sweet potato bind to cascade over the front. I'm through with that, so I've got the other pot to do on the other side. So I'm going to work on that one while he is planting those white mounded flowers. They look like snow drifts. And on to the columbines. I can hardly wait to see how this all looks. It was a beautiful day. Cool, birds singing, sunshine. Okay, tucking those last few flowers in. I'm gonna go help Matt place those last rocks and any bare spots. It's a couple weeks ago since we planted this and I have to tell you the flowers are so full and just gorgeous looking. Okay, planting is all done and you are invited to come along and tour our English Cottage Garden Entryway.
thank you everyone for joining us today as we planted our cottage garden. I had so much fun. It looks beautiful. The day is lovely. And I hope this inspires you to add some beauty and some flowers to your spring. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.